What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be taking you through a full push day. So it is currently Sunday, January 21st, which means I am less than a week out from Spartan Trifecta. So this week is gonna be uh, basically a tapering week, not a crazy heavy week when it comes to lifting volume and then running volume. However, I got multiple requests for doing my re most recent push day video. So today's workout, I will be doing chest, triceps, and shoulder focus style workout. So let me explain to you what will be going down in this workout. Side note, I weighed in this morning at 207.2, I think. So I'm pretty sure when it comes to race day, I will be weighing in at about 207 pounds, which that is not what I wanted. If you have been following the channel, I've been wanting to get to 200 come race day, but it is what it is. So when it comes to push day, if you're doing a push-pull leg split, you're doing push twice a week. So when I do push, um, I usually break it up each push day into predominantly like a chest focus push day and then a predominantly like shoulder focus push day depending on where I lack. I have always had pretty decent shoulders and triceps but my chest is lacking always so I'll always kind of put a little bit more focus on the push side of the workout and then depending on what day it is I may put more emphasis on the upper chest and then like the mid chest or the lower chest, wherever I feel like I'm lacking it. In this workout, I'm gonna be supersetting to kind of make time efficient. I don't wanna be out here for like an hour and a half. I usually try to get all my workouts in between like an hour and then in between each set, I'm always doing a minute rest in between. So like I said, I already warmed up, loosened up the shoulders. My muscles are primed. So I'm gonna start off with incline bench, superset with dumbbell lateral flies. For incline bench, I'm gonna be doing a five by five so I'll do five reps. Um, I'm probably gonna be doing kind of a predominantly heavier weight, not crazy heavy, because again, I'm not trying to lift heavy being this close to my actual race. Incline bench, and then when it comes to dumbbell lateral flies, I'm shooting between 12 to 15 reps. So this is exercise one of the push day. First exercise is done. Now I'm gonna jump into dumbbell incline bench. I'm gonna do four sets. Uh, I'm shooting anywhere from 12, 12 to 15 reps. And then I'm gonna superset that with single arm, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna superset that with tricep press down on a cable machine. Now on the tricep press down, I'm gonna probably actually do 15 to 20 reps just because when it comes to triceps, I like doing volume over actual strength. I just feel like I get a better pump. I feel like it works my triceps a lot better. So anytime I do triceps, I'll usually keep the rep range pretty high, usually like 15 to 20. Like I said, very rarely do I go from like strength zone of like eight to 12 reps. So it's usually always over 15. So dumbbell incline bench, 12 to 15 reps, superset with a tricep push down. Now, if you don't have this, just do any type of tricep extension for 15 to 20 reps. Don't hit. 
I'm gonna do dumbbell bench press. I'm gonna do three sets of 12 to 15, and I'm gonna superset that with three sets of 12 to 15 upright rows. So now I'm back to chest and shoulders. When it comes to working out in a garage gym, unless you have like a fully equipped garage gym, your variety when it comes to workouts and exercises is limited. So you gotta get creative, but at the same time, when I used to work out at a commercial gym, sometimes there's so many fancy machines in there that you gravitate towards them to add variety to your workout. But when you keep it simple and you stick to the basics, the fundamentals, bench press, shoulder press, barbell press, you know, the basics, even though these may seem simple, these are a great way to obviously build size and then even hypertrophy training. So. Don't get all distracted by it when it comes to the fancy machines. You don't need that much equipment to get an effective workout, whatever it is, even leg day. A lot of people say, how do you have an effective leg day in a garage gym? Again, you get creative and you start actually working muscles that if you were at a commercial gym and you had all that variety, you may not even incorporate, which means you're missing out on them. So it's like that old acronym, KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Not calling you guys stupid. Anyways, third exercise, again, minute rest in between 12 to 15 set, 12 to 15 reps on each set. exercise is done so for fourth exercise what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do dumbbell shoulder press superset single arm tricep press down for this one I'm gonna do four sets 12 to 15 shoulder press and then four sets with 15 to 20 single arm press downs
right, next exercise I'm gonna be doing, I call it dumbbell chest fly twists. I don't know exactly what it is. It's not an actual fly, but there is a twist. It's almost like Arnold presses, but for your chest. I feel like this targets like the side swoop part of the chest the most. So I'll do three sets, 12 to 15, and then I'm gonna superset that with dumbbell extensions for three sets of 15 to 20. A minute rest in between. But this one, like I said, I just feel this target is the side chest, which is where I lack the most when it comes to my chest. And then supersetting this with your triceps or your dumbbell extensions just blows up your triceps. Give it a try. push workout took about 51 minutes so very quick and effective I like to keep my workouts anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour I don't really like going over that that is my push workout as of right now once I finish this trifecta workout I kind of already have been planning what my next eight weeks will look like and what that train splits gonna look like um, I'm probably still gonna have a push push workout but it actually will change so even though you guys got this push workout Probably within the next couple weeks, I'll give you guys a new push workout, like I said, because this is the end of the training program. So, so like I said, my race is on Saturday and Sunday. So I got the beast on Saturday. I got the super and the sprint on Sunday. Um, and then I'll probably take Monday off. I'll probably jump straight into a new, new eight week program. But as of right now, I did get the merch in for the website that I will be launching and I am super stoked with how it fits, feels and looks. So I finalized that. So the plan as of right now, like I said, today is the 21st, Sunday, um, probably the Monday after my trifecta. So I think it's the 29th or so, it's next Monday. The plan is to launch the actual website. So be on the lookout for that. I will let you guys know um, next week when it comes to my weekly video. So if you guys are new to the channel and you guys like this style video, or if you guys are looking for certain workouts, especially if you have a garage gym, every workout I post, is in a garage gym, so it'll be perfect for you. And then depending on what you're training for, I'm usually training for some type of Spartan event, whether it be an actual Spartan race or a DECA or anything like that. So if you are interested in that or you know someone interested in that, make sure you tag them in this, share this video with them so that they can find this. But that about wraps this up. Now I got four miles on the treadmill because this week I'm bringing down the volume for the miles and I'm very excited because I am sick of running and that is what I'm looking forward to in my next training program, not so much running. So I'm gonna knock out this four miles and go inside and enjoy my Sunday with my family. So I hope you guys have a blessed week, a great week, and you guys already know the motto, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, don't be average. I will catch you guys in the next one.